Today the reading is from Luke chapter 4, reading verses 16 to 29. But I'm only reading a few of them, so do read the rest for yourself, as it will then make much more sense. Verse 16 says, He went to Nazareth, where he'd been brought up. And on the Sabbath day he went into the synagogue, as was his custom. He stood up to read, and the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was handed to him. Unrolling it, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners, and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him. He began by saying to them, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Now, just imagine yourself on a sunny Sunday morning, hearing that Joseph and Mary's son has come back to see his mum and dad and will be in church today. Off you go, pleased to see if the stories you've heard about him have come true and he will heal someone. Probably a bit of a buzz as he walks in. Then he reads out a passage that you all know and says, Today this has come true. Everyone starts whispering, isn't he amazing? Isn't this the carpenter? What's he saying? But before the whispers die down, Jesus goes on and basically, if quite politely, says, you don't get it, do you? Well, that everyone loses it and read to the end of that passage and you'll discover they decide to push him off a cliff. I expect, like me, some of you will struggle to understand not just what Jesus is saying here, but with quite a lot of what he says. We read this passage as the financially poor, the literal prisoners, the physically blind or oppressed, being set free. But Jesus is talking about us. Most of us are fairly poor spiritually. Most of us are still caught in some sort of prison of unbelief. Maybe belief about who we really are or who God is. Most of us are blind when it comes to really seeing what Jesus would see in the world around us and certainly oppressed by the pressure of the world. I think that if Jesus turned up on our doorsteps, we would be delighted initially, just as the people of Nazareth were. But when he invited all those you have real difficulty with, or maybe asked you to go out and feed the poor, would you be so pleased? Let's pray. Lord, open our eyes increase our faith and enable us to do what you did here on earth. Amen.